Allen still on his feet. Holt in a foot race with Puck Neal. Welcome to College Flash Classics. I'm Bob Rathbun. The day was October the 12th, 1985, and the Clemson Tigers faced an early season must-win home game against the Virginia Cavaliers. Clemson had a very uncharacteristic 1-3 record with consecutive losses to Georgia, Georgia Tech, and Kentucky. Now remember, this was a Clemson team that was a perennial powerhouse in the ACC. They won the national championship in 1981 and finished in the top 10 the next two seasons. They weren't used to losing, and head coach Danny Ford was in a foul mood. The George Welsh-led Cavaliers came into the game having lost 24 straight to the Tigers and had never won a game in Death Valley, but still managed to be favorites coming into this game. Welch, who was in his fourth season at UVA, brought respectability to the Cavalier program. Virginia had suffered losing seasons in 12 of the previous 13 years before he took over as head coach. The Cavaliers had confidence coming into this contest. They had a 3-1 record and had finished second in the ACC the year before. Virginia also had revenge on their minds, having been thumped 55 to nothing on their home field the previous year by the Tigers. It was one of only two losses in 84 for the reigning Peach Bowl champions. This game had the makings of a slugfest, and it certainly didn't disappoint. It's the Virginia Cavaliers versus the Clemson Tigers from October 1985. We pick up the action on the opening drive of the game. First and 10, Virginia 36 yard line. Give it to Johnson, the fullback who got one before Swan leveled him. He did level him. Russ Swan, a really, really tough competitor. 6'4", 225 pounds. We've talked about a lot. Likes to do his talking with his shoulder pads. Plays a great football game. A leading tackler on this squad this year. Dreotis Perkins also in on that stop. It'll be second and nine for the Tigers as the freshman Rodney Williams leads them out. Johnson, the fullback, stays the drive at the tailback. Here's the option. Williams to throw off of it. Deep, and he has his man. the fingertips of Shelton Boyer. Pass may be just slightly underthrown, and Curtis Turner was back there. He may have gotten a hand on it. Looks like he's going to run a sprint out, sets up in a drop back position. Now he had him beat. Short, Shelton Boyer had him beat. Allowed, of course, the throw allowed Curtis Turner to catch back up. But it should have been a touchdown had Williams gotten the ball out in front. Very, very close. Keith Jennings, number 46, will come in at a wide receiver as Clemson goes with three wideouts on third and nine from the Cavalier 35-yard line. And they'll run it with Driver straight up the middle. Driver still on his feet. First down at the 20, 15-yard line. Stacy Driver with just a great effort. Kevin Gould finally had to make the stop at the 15-yard line. Ken, they had him stop short of a first down, and he wouldn't quit. We're going to see some great blocking. Look at the move by Stacy Driver at the point of attack. Missed tackle, missed tackle by the two linebackers. There's, there's the big uh, defensive end trying to come up and urge and make the play, but finally has to be brought down from behind by Kevin Gould. Great Very line. impressive opening drive by the Tigers. They have reached the Virginia 15. Flowers in the tailback. Not much as McDaniel nailed him at the 15-yard line. McDaniel, the all-time leading tackler for the Cavalier, but he is number three this year. He's Swan not used to that and Scott position. Hillman have had uh, no, it's not. Well, they protect their linebackers, of course, and they stack the, the defensive line, et cetera, to try to keep those linebackers, and they're going to make most of the tackles. At that point, not a good block by the fullback, Johnson. Charles McDaniel stood him up and made the tackle. Driver, not a big guy, 5'8", 180 pounds. Second down, nine yards to go. They'll give it to uh, the fullback, Johnson, up the middle. He gets to about the 10. And it was Russ Swan tripping him up. Tracy, another freshman. Boy, is this a young ball club. Very young ball club, and uh, a lot of young people across that offensive line. Only one starter from last year, and he's a great one, of course. Steve Reese, the big 270-pound senior, he is an all-star candidate. Third and three, big call here. Shelton Boyer comes in with a wide receiver, and they will send both wide receivers, Boyer and Rulock, to the far side. And running out of the eye on third and three, driver, tailback pitch, and it'll be stopped short of the first down. Nice play by Gould coming up from the secondary, hit him first, and then Sean Scott put him down. And on fourth down, it looks like they'll go for the field goal. 
Charles McDaniel got penetration there and took that uh, guard out of the play. That was John Phillips that uh, McDaniel came up and uh, met at the line of scrimmage, forcing Driver to try to get outside too late. That's Jeff Litton, uh, the center, <laughs> being attended to. Played for Jerry Faust at uh, Moeller High School. As did a lot of other people in college football, did they ever? Now, they're very thin along that offensive line, and uh, they, can, they really can't afford to lose anybody. Most of these kids have not seen a lot of action as they've played, and they're not they're not particularly uh, young. They've got some juniors and some seniors up there, but not uh, not a lot of experience in game time. David Treadwell will try the field goal, a 25-yard effort. Treadwell has only missed one this year. That was outside of 50 yards. Brian Hammond, number 59, a freshman, is in the snap. Treadwell puts it up, and he's got it. The sophomore from Jacksonville, Florida, knocks it through. And Clemson has taken a first quarter lead, 3-0, with 10.06 to go first period. We'll be back with more after this. This new AT&T 4G LTE is fast. Hey, two tickets just opened up on the 50. Yep, about to pick them up at will call. So 46 seconds ago. Did you guys hear that Chapman rolled his ankle? Done. Get out there. So 12 seconds ago. Do you guys know how to post videos to Facebook? Do you guys know how to post videos to Facebook? Did you guys hear someone stole the other team's mascot? So 27 seconds ago. Stay a step ahead with 4G LTE, with speeds up to 10 times faster than 3G. AT&T. Now that's a big deal. It's Nissan's big deal. Save big for a limited time. Get 0% financing on our most popular models. Get $1,500 back on Altima. Or save $1,525 on Rogue. Visit ChooseNissan.com. Test drive at your local Nissan dealer today. Hurry, the big deals won't last. Welcome to O'Charlie's. We're cooking up a deal no one else has. Our eight under eight. Eight great meals for under $8. Choose a mushroom and blue cheese sirloin, hand cut and fire grill. Or try our new chicken Italia, topped with melted mozzarella, served hot off the grill. Only O'Charlie's has food this great at a deal this good. Try our eight under eight meals and you'll see at O'Charlie's, we put the O's in good food. There's Mikowski, who has had an outstanding year, 532 yards passing. Ken mentioned something a little earlier, only two touchdown passes, Ken, and you were a little surprised by that. Well, I think he throws the ball very well, but I think the absence of John Ford could account for that. Now he's missing Gino Zimmerlink, and he really did like to throw to Zimmerlink, especially in third and, and within the 20. He would always go to Zimmerlink. So we've got a little problem here, but he seems to be getting into the outside receivers. Zimmerlink missed the Duke game and is still tied for uh, receptions on this ball club. Morgan, the fullback. That's two and a half, maybe three yards. In the middle of the Clemson defensive line led by Steve Berlin, who was very good against the run, made the tackle. We talk a lot about Clemson being young, but nowhere is that youth more personified than on that defensive line. They have seven freshmen and sophomores on the defensive line. Kevin Morgan, as I said, 6'2", 230 pounds from Richmond, Virginia, the most highly recruited back probably in maybe in the history of Virginia football, doing a great job for him. Second and seven. Berlin is the only senior along that defensive line. I'll give it to Morgan again. Morgan stays on his feet across the 30, up to about the 33-yard line, and he's got a first down for the Cavaliers. A.J. Johnson made the stop. Now we're going to see Mikowski come down that line with the option play. Of course, he has the option. He gives it to Morgan. Now, Morgan's going to be a better and better runner. He really hasn't had a lot of experience out there running from that fullback position. He likes the tailback position. A lot of talk about him saying he wants to go back to tailback. He'll never see the light of day at tailback again if he runs like that. I'll tell you, he's not going to see it uh, very often this year with Barry Ward and Howard Petty there. Petty the starter. And Petty has the ball for the first time. He slices his way up the middle across the 35 the 37 38 yard line and Henry Walls was the first man to hit him his 61st tackle of the year he had 21 tackles against Georgia Tech <laughs> I'd like to have been there just to see that one you know it's it's amazing Barry Word is leading the conference has really gained a lot of yards and yet he doesn't even start the ball game ninth in the country averaging 120.3 yards and he can't start that's right 
Gronkowski on the option. He'll turn it up inside himself. Gets very close to the first down yardage again. Walls again and on the stop. Michael yes. Dean Perry was also over there. He missed the first three games with a sprained ankle. Also has a hairline fracture in his fibula. This young man uh, is just a tremendous ball player. It was a tackle a year ago. And of course, uh, he's always compared with his brother. Well, we all know the refrigerator. William Perry now toiling for the Chicago Bears and doing a pretty good job on run situation. Michael Dean Perry, not nearly as big as his brother William Perry, but uh, quite, yeah, who is quite a factor out there. I know three guys who aren't <laughs> together. <laughs> Cavaliers trying to move on their opening drive after Clemson took it and marched down the field and got a 25-yard field goal out of David Treadwell. Contrast the option that Mikowski runs to what Williams is doing. That offensive line of Virginia is so strong, you'll see them move that defensive tackle back off the line of scrimmage a lot more than you'll see Clemson move Virginia's tackle back. Second first down on Virginia's initial drive. They're out at their own 43-yard line. Sean Lewis, the tight end in motion. He goes straight up to the middle. That's Keith Vanderbeek into the ball game for the first time. Senior fullback who uh, runs out of both positions now, both fullback and tailback, and Henry Walls is on the stop again. Uh, Keith Williams and Henry Walls, two great football players. He dodged that back. He saw Walls get around that back and come in and, and make that tackle. Real forces in the game, much like Swan and McDaniel for Virginia. Vanderbeek at fullback. Howard Petty continues to tailback behind McDaniel. Both wide receivers to the top of the screen. And Mikowski on the option again, and he'll keep it. Mikowski across midfield. And on that play, Henry Walls, number 55, was the man who needed to get to Mikowski and could not get outside fast enough. You just can't get to Don Mikowski when you have that line. Now, we see a little slip block on the guard and the tackle here. Now, we get that defensive back. See, he's got to play that pitch man. And here's Mikowski. Gets, they get so many people driven back off the line of scrimmage, he just picks that seam up at between them and of course Terrence Mack finally came up and made the tackle Mack of course playing with a broken hand got a cast on with some help from Keith Williams 654 to go first quarter Virginia on a drive inside Clemson territory for the first time Morgan the fullback on third and inches will have a first down to the Clemson 45 and just inside it and it's Steve Berlin again on the stop Steve Berlin, the anchor of that Clemson ball club, of course, uh, the leader in sacks uh, with this ball club, six behind the line of scrimmage. The, the real, uh, not a fast guy, but has played so much football. His coach Tom Harper, the defensive coordinator, said yesterday, just knows the game so well. And his dad is the head trainer for the Steelers. He grew up around football. You understand things. Mikowski to throw for the first time, complete sideline, and it's to John Muha. Perry Williams has to make the stop over there. Offside. Here are the officials headed by your referee, C.C. Daly. Our friend Ernie Cage down there is the umpire this afternoon. Clock uh, ticking away inexorably in the first quarter, 545. Very rapid first period of play. Mikowski wants to go for it all. Touchdown, Quanta Bullock. Quanta Bullock two steps behind Danforth, or Delton Hall, rather, and Mikowski just laid in the beauty. Now this is Quanta Bullock's second game back, and quite frankly, Delton Hall just lost track of where that receiver was. He had plenty of time to get back, playing deep zone coverage. He let Bullock come up that sideline and get behind him. Mikowski with the bomb. Kenny Stadlin is on to tie it up or rather put Virginia head 7-3, they now up 6-3. Stadlin true on the extra point. It's an excellent kicker, very reliable, and with five minutes and 40 seconds to go in the first quarter, the Cavaliers have matched Clemson with an opening drive and now taken the lead 7-3. Time is your worst enemy during a stroke. Two million brain cells die every minute. The best chance you have is knowing what to do. It's about time you knew Marcus Stroke and Neuroscience Center at Grady. Atlanta can't live without Grady. 
This is Jay Cunningham, owner of Superior Plumbing. You would never trust a monkey to prepare your taxes, and you surely wouldn't allow a monkey to teach your children. So why trust a monkey to fix your plumbing? At Superior Plumbing, our plumbers are licensed, professional, and on time. You deserve more than a monkey with a wrench. Call Superior Plumbing, the honest plumber. Superior, the honest one. Call 770. Petty and Morgan with the running back. That's Lewis, the tight end in motion. And this is Howard Petty trying to cut back on the sweep. Nice move by Petty. Cut it back. Got down to the 24-yard line. And a flag is down. Mark Drag, number 85, in on the stop. He's the reserve middle guard, a 255-pound freshman. And it looks like the call will go against the Tigers. And I'm sure Dan Ford, at this point, has to say, if anything can go wrong, we'll do it. It's a first down for Virginia. Mikowski on the option to Petty. Petty is nailed, loose ball. It'll go out of bounds and a break for the Cavaliers. Petty was just drilled. And it was Kenny Danforth, the strong safety, who nailed him. And Danforth gets up a little slow. The flip from Mikowski turned Petty around a little bit, and he never got a chance to get righted. Well, both of them got, got nailed. And offsides. A big, big hit here, hitting Petty. Danforth really lets him have it. The ball, fortunately, for Virginia, bounces out of bounds, but it would have made no difference, of course, because there is a penalty on the play. First and 10 at the Clemson, 14 for the Cavaliers, already leading 7-3. Petty straight up the middle to the 10-yard line. And it was Keith Williams, the weak side linebacker, who hit him first in the middle of that Clemson defense. I have to believe this is the finest group of running backs. We certainly we have in the Atlanta Coast Conference and perhaps uh, some of the finest in the, in the country. Well, you have three guys very capable of getting 100 yards on their own. And then you got Mikowski, who's not only an excellent quarterback, but a very dangerous runner in his own right. Second and seven. Tight end Dempsey is in motion. They'll give it to Petty again. Petty this time to about the seven yard line. Steve Berlin had him around the knees and wouldn't let him go. Berlin, the only senior on that forward wall. Matter of fact, uh, one of only two seniors starting. Kenny Danforth, the strong safety, is the other. Now, you cannot say that about that Cavalier offensive line. What an offensive line that is, led by Harold Guerin and, of course, the great Jim Dombrowski, who's certainly an All American Outland trophy candidate. Third down, three yards to go. Let's see if they run behind Dombrowski, their left tackle. They'll send the tight end in motion, and that's exactly where they go, and Petty to the five. Well, if you want some yardage, you gotta go behind Dombrowski, and Keith Williams made the tackle. Clemson trailing 7-3 in Virginia and scoring territory again with 2.44 to go. And they brought Kenny Stanton on to try a field goal. There you see the homecoming record for Clemson since 1970, and they have tended to pick on the Cavaliers, but with George Welsh running that Virginia program, they may not schedule a homecoming for most folks when the Cavaliers come to town. I'd be darn insulted if I were their homecoming opponent, and I think Virginia's out to change that. Stadlin, 10 out of 12 in field goals. This will be a 22-yard effort, not much more than an extra point, and Stadlin is true on the field goal, and Virginia has taken a 10-3 lead after spotting Clemson a 3-0 margin. Turnovers kill. This is a phrase that Clemson fans have been familiar with all season long. That Kenny Stadlin field goal was the result of yet another Clemson turnover. Time for the Tigers to get down to business. We'll pick up the action during Clemson's next possession at the start of the second quarter. First quarter statistics don't show you a whole lot other than it's been a relatively even ball game and most of the damage has been done on the ground so far. The uh, big statistic is 10 points for Virginia, three for Clemson. The tri Tigers trying to even that stat up right now. They have a second and eight at their own 41-yard line. Williams tosses the driver. Looks like he wants to throw it. Now he has to run, and he's forced out of bounds. Good play by McDaniel to drive him out of there. Sean Scott trailing the play. Stacy Driver wanted to throw that football. He showed it just a little bit too quick. I think Rulock was uh, was open very quickly, but he didn't make that move. We get a look at the two linebackers, Lagerman and McDaniel. Now watch McDaniel. He's got tremendous speed, and he's got to stay out there with a little halfback that can really run. 
almost tackles him or does wind up tackling, but Stacy Driver's quite a slippery eel. Had the tight end Jim Riggs in the pattern, but I think the uh, main receiver was supposed to be Terrence Rulock, who was way downfield. Third and six. Williams going to have to throw. Over the middle, and it's complete. Got Jennings to the Virginia 38-yard line. Eric Clay, the strong safety, in on the stop. But Williams right on target to freshman Keith Jennings, whose brother Stanford plays for the Bengals. Rodney Williams may not have thrown the ball a lot this year, but looks good on this toss near Stanford Jennings. Turns around, he's in there all the way, or Keith Jennings, rather. Stanford Jennings is his brother, who's a fine running back for Cincinnati. First down, Clemson, the Tigers at the Virginia 38-yard line. Williams has been pretty impressive. He runs the ops and tosses to Driver. To the 30, inside the 30 to the 29-yard line, Scott Hillman actually had Driver knock him down. Well, the backs run into each other. Right on the fake, now watch Lancaster. They run into the pulling guard. That sends Williams out. He flips it to Driver. Now watch this move. And Curtis Turner is left holding nothing. Stacy Driver is using some move. Driver so far 11 carries, 66 yards. He had only gained 137 on the season coming into this one. Driver again, bounces off a couple of tackles. McDaniel was there again. Sometimes you can tell more about a back when he doesn't gain but two yards than when you can when he when he breaks one for 20 or 30. At that point, Russ Swan had him dead in the backfield. Driver gave him a little move. Driver's coming out of the ball game, and he deserves a rest. They've got he some sure good does. backs to go back in there. Rod Quick going in. Danny Ford has a lot of ability back there. He's got Quick and Flowers in there running back right now. Also has Johnson. Quick will go to a wingback position on third and a yard. Quarterback keeper, Williams, oh yeah, easily. And about the 26 yard line, it will be another first down for the Clemson Tigers. They have had that one turnover, Ken Willard, but that was an interception on an excellent defensive play. They have not fumbled the ball at all, and that's got to be very pleasing to Danny Ford and to the 80,000 fans who are here for homecoming. Well, interceptions haven't been their problem, and of course, the only way you're going to avoid throwing an interception is not to throw the football. I just, it looks like Rodney Williams has really kind of made himself aware of that, and he's going out there and throw some stuff up against the wall. Williams, a freshman, running the option. Here's the reverse, roll lock. Oh, there's nobody going to get him. Touchdown. What a great call. Unbelievable. Williams took off in one direction to run the option, and here came Rulock out of nowhere. They tossed it back to him, and he had his big center, Jeff Litton, waiting out there, and Litton couldn't even find anybody to block. Well, he didn't need to block anybody. Terrence Rulock was wide open and just had to find his way into the end zone. Chris Turner, Curtis Turner rather, trying to get back, but not back in time. That's his first touchdown of the year, and he gets it rushing and not receiving. Treadwell is on to try to tie it up. And does. Rulock led the ACC last year with eight touchdowns receiving. It looks like the straight option, the little delay to Flowers. Now watch the pitch. Rulock comes underneath Flowers. They've run that play four times before. Three of them to Ray Williams. All three times have resulted in touchdowns. Rulock gets his chance today. Curtis Turner doesn't get there in time. Boy, Jeff Litton, all 255 pounds of him out there to throw a block, and there wasn't anybody to hit. Timeout. We're tied. Sales event. And in this corner, America's most fuel efficient pickups. 
featuring F-150 with exclusive EcoBoost technology that delivers the power and MPGs the so-called contenders can't. Plus, it's ranked highest in initial quality in its class. Now that's a one-two knockout punch. On F-150, get 0% financing for 60 months, plus another grant toward your trade-in on top of what it's worth. It's a huge day of college football on Saturday in the South, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. First on Fox Sports South, Maryland battles Boston College at 3. Then Mississippi State takes on Kentucky at 7. And at 10, it's Arizona, Washington. And a big slam. Then on Sports South, SMU takes on Tulsa at 3.30. And Iowa State battles Texas Tech at 7. Touchdown! It's all part of Saturday in the South, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors, only on Fox Sports South and Sports South. Kills this gong. Put it over the fence, over the goal post. If they ever have to try an 80 yard field goal, this is the kid they might call on. That is amazing. That went out of the stadium, folks. That went over the goal line and over the fence. Well, he did have a five mile an hour win behind him, which must have added a yard. At least. <laughs> Let's see how Virginia counters this Clemson attack. The Tigers have already racked up over 100 yards on the ground. Virginia with 46. We'll check the tailback position for you, and it's Barry Word, the number nine rusher in the country, seeing his first action today. Word, Chavis, the first man to hit him as he reached the 25. You get that impression looking at that Virginia ball club that they can pretty much do what they want to. If they get enough time and they hold on to the football long enough, they're going to make an impressive performance. Barry Word's Statistics to date, 69 carries, 481 yards, of course, ninth in the country, and certainly number one in the Atlantic Coast Conference. Pat McKinney, a freshman, 6'3", 245, out of Jacksonville, Florida, is in at middle guard. A lot of freshmen out of Jacksonville, Florida, and McKinney makes the tackle. Used to live in Jacksonville. They played some great high school football. They do play good, good high school football. And of course, look at Kevin Morgan here. Good blocking at the point of attack. Barney Chavis, uh, Barney Chavis, Raymond Chavis comes up and makes that play, play but uh, Kevin Morgan benefits by having that great tailback behind him. First down, 10, Cavaliers, ball spotted at the 32. Dempsey, Dempsey, the tight end, shifts to the near side. McCaskey wants to throw. Quickly to Muha, 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 nice move to the 45-yard line. Got away from Wesley McFadden, who just got a hold of an ankle and tripped him up. Another first down for the Cavalier. Muha has that little ability after he catches that ball to make that little slip move. And again, McFadden came up from the inside before this game's over with it. They keep attacking that short hitch from the inside. They're either going to get a hitch and go or they're going to break that uh, break the tackle rather and get a much longer game. 11 minutes, 24 seconds to go first half. We're tied 10-10 along with Ken Willard. This is Mike Patrick. Glad to have you with us. Mikowski sideline completes to Muha who has become his favorite receiver since Geno Zimmerlink has gone out with an injury. It will be another first down. This one in Clemson territory. Muha has the nice hands. Now this is a classic drop back pass. Mikowski comes back and Muha has to come back against this. Watch him get down, protect the ball, oh. keep in bounds. Super toss, super catch. First down, Cavaliers, ball up to 43. Virginia with the number one rushing attack in the ACC. They're number eight in passing, but that's deceptive because they can throw. Morgan, the fullback, dragging people with him to about the 37-yard line. Richard Burton, the linebacker, in on the stop. Not a bad actor either. I won't touch that one. You mentioned uh, Barney Chavis just a minute ago. I, I, that's on everybody's mind because he's his cousin, Raymond Chavis. Well, you just told me something now. That's why I said it. Barney Chavis, of course, the Denver Bronco. Fine defensive lineman. Second and four. They'll give it to Word, trying to cut it outside. No dice. Mack had him around the ankles, stood him up, and then Henry Walls drilled him. If you had to hope that to get tremendous play out of that defense, you've got to get Henry Walls and Terrence Mack in the play. Of course, Mack has been hurt. Walls is coming off an injury riddled last season. Been hurt some this year. Also got Michael Dean Perry on the other side. He's been hurt so much. They need him in there. Third and two, Virginia at the Clemson 35. Barry Word behind Morgan. Very close to the first down. Looks like he had it. And it was Richard McCullough making the tackle for the Tigers. 
And it is a first down. Very methodical drive. Now we've had uh, four of these so far, two for each ball club. Only been one turnover in the ball game. That was an interception by Virginia, which led to their touchdown. First and 10 Cavaliers. Mikowski wants to throw. Deep over the middle has Dempsey. Touchdown Cavaliers. Delton Hall right through his hands. As a matter of fact, it almost hit him in the helmet. And I think he turned the wrong way. And Dempsey had to keep up good concentration just to catch the ball. Well, uh, Joel Dempsey did nothing fancy. Just split that seam. Delton Hall should be a much faster ball player than Joel Dempsey, simply using bad technique. Turned the wrong way, as you said, Mike. Touchdown. Hall is much faster. He's a 400-meter man. Part of the 4x400 uh, four record-setting relay team here at Clemson. Stadlin on to add the point after, and he's got it. The Cavaliers strike in a hurry and have taken a 17-10 lead. Again, nothing fancy. Trying to get 10 yards out of this play. A fake off the, off the dive and just comes back. Now watch Delton Hall turn. Goes right through his hands. Dempsey simply walks it in. Well, Dempsey had him beat again by about five yards, I believe. I don't, I'm not trying to pick on Delton Hall, but I believe he was the young man who was beaten on the first touchdown. Absolutely. Timeout, second quarter, 9.26 left. Virginia by seven, back after this from your local station. Dish Network claims they have more HD channels than DirecTV. But what Dish doesn't tell you is that 24 of their HD channels are only in high def, part of the time. So with Dish, when you turn on your flat screen, you might get HD, or you might not. DirecTV now has over 170 HD channels, all in high def, all the time. The most full-time HD channels. Another reason why 50 million people agree. Don't just watch TV, DirecTV. This is my office. It's hot, it's loud, and you don't even want to know what I spend on gas. So when I get home, I want it to be comfortable without spending a fortune on fuel. That's why I chose a water furnace geothermal heat pump. Water furnace units use the free renewable energy stored in your backyard to save up to 70% on heating, cooling, and hot water. It's like taking two cars off the road. Two cars have suddenly vanished, handing Gordon the win here at Talent. What do you mean I can't pick which two? Defending NBA Dance Team Champions are bringing you behind the scenes of their new calendar shoot. It gives fans a chance to see who we are, where we come from. It's Under the Lights, making of the 2012 Lady Cats Swimsuit Calendar, premiering November 3rd on Sports South. Williams on the fake, got him open. open. Oh, and Riggs couldn't hold it. Again, Riggs was wide open. Ryan Jackson was coming across, but he got there late, and Williams just didn't have the touch on it. The inexperience of a freshman quarterback, a redshirt freshman quarterback, he starts to go down the line, now he's got to throw it right now. He had him open, and when he throws it, he gets the coverage back in the picture and throws it long on top of that. Just taking a little bit off of it, he had to score. Now at that point, I've got to say, Riggs has got to lay out He's got to go everything after. Second and 10, Flowers on the sweep. Got some blocking, but what a tackle by Swan. He came in and cut his ankles out from under him. You're right, Mike. That's a great play by Russ Swan, a fine senior linebacker. Came into this ballgame with 48 Game tackles. Two yards. And that was a big stop there because Flowers had room to run. Crucial play. Third and eight with four and a half minutes to go. First half. Virginia up by seven. Rodney Williams back to throw. Little sprint out action over the middle. Incomplete. Shelton Boyer again was open, and Williams again overthrew him by about two feet. Well, he had him. You're exactly right. Rollout pass. Had that post pattern coming back against the action. Now, Williams has to make a difficult throw. That's he has a to throw, throw back against his body. There's no doubt about that. But two passes and one drive should have had two to you. There we go. He tries to lay out. Now, he takes a shot at Shelton Boyer trying to get out there, of course, to make that. He had gotten behind Gould. 
but to no avail. And we'll go for the field goal. Treadwell, the ball spotted at the 29-yard line, so it will be a 39-yard attempt. He's only missed outside 50 yards. He's got this one, and a flag is down. This may be interesting. It looked like the Clemson. Oh, they went into the kicker. Yeah. It looked like the Virginia rush banged into either the holder or the kicker. Snow. Now, here's the question. Do you take the points off the board? If it's a first down, I would. Now we see the play. Now, here we see the layout. Now, that's a running into the kicker. Yep. Now, is that roughness or is it running into, Mike? I think that'll be running into him, and Treadwell didn't even have to act on that one. He was legitimately Well, if it's running into him, it's only a five-yard penalty. That's right, and it would not be a first down. Running into the kicker gets the defense five-yard penalty. Be penalized on the kickoff. Three points good. Clemson kept the game close with that David Treadwell field goal to make it a four-point contest. And that's the way it stood at halftime, with Virginia leading 17-13. to We'll now pick up the action early in the second half on Clemson's first possession following a Virginia punt. First and ten, Tigers at their own 39. Flowers got a good lead block. 50. 45, 44 yard line. And it took Charles McDaniel, the linebacker, to chase him down. Got a good block from Tracy Johnson, his fullback, and also an excellent block from John Phillips. Watch John Phillips, number 61 on Charles McDaniel. Watch John Phillips. He takes McDaniel and turns him back inside. You can't get to him. A little holding there. You, you know this on the back of the jersey. But do you think Kenny Flowers is concerned? Because he's got 4-3 speed and he's gone. Hey, everybody holds that much on every play. Everybody's got to be someplace. Some, That's some right. First and 10, Clemson, Virginia, 44. Flowers got outside. Lost his balance, or he may have had five or 10 more, but he gets to the Cavalier 35-yard line. Gould and Ryan Jackson had to knock him out of bounds. We've talked a lot about Flower's speed. He looks like he was losing his legs on that on that run. And sometimes you can get so excited when you come out for the first half or the beginning of the second half that you make one good run and all of a sudden you're totally winded. Now here he goes. He looks like he starts to slip. He picks up himself. He gets back out again. He starts to make it again. And it looks like his legs just give out on him. Second and one and driver will come in at tailback. He has the ball and the first down to the Virginia 32 or maybe even the 31 yard line. McDaniel again on the tackle. The senior from Fredericksburg doing yeoman duty. This is really one of the few times today that you've really heard the Clemson fans in this game. Well, I, this is a normal thing at Clemson. Of course, they're used to winning. They're used to being favored, and they're used to being on top. This is an unusual situation as we talked at the top of the game. I like Stacy Driver in there for one reason. Boy, he makes things happen. You saw Flowers on the sideline with his helmet off. I think he just beat. Sideline complete. Nice pass to Woolock. Out of bounds inside the 20. Ryan Jackson with him, but Rodney Williams pass right on the money. Rodney Williams showing he can throw that football. Now he's got Ryan Jackson on a man-for-man -man protection. Ryan Jackson is giving too much room. We're a little rollout set up. We got better pass protection. Now he has to throw a long way. Terrence Ruach, a great football player. Jackson comes up to make the hit. Threw a tight spiral to him that time. First and 10, Tigers. Inside the Virginia 20. Fullback plunge and staying on his feet as Chris Lancaster, Rayotis Perkins had a hold and would not let go. I'd be awfully tempted to get Kenny Flowers in there at fullback. He started all of last year at fullback. I think he's really a prototype looking fullback. I don't know whether he can block. Possibly that's the problem. But I'd sure like to see his running ability in there with Driver. Well, he and Driver started at those spots all last year together. You know, in the old days, Clemson was noted for its huge fullbacks. Second and nine. Driver cuts it back inside the 15 to about the 14-yard line, and Russ Swan made the stop. One thing that's been interesting about Virginia's defense today, the front five have not made very many stops at all. Sean Scott had a couple early in the first quarter, but outside of that, it's been the secondary and those big linebackers. They're down by four. Waiting on the sideline is David Treadwell, and there's the fifth penalty against the Tigers for 39 yards, and they have seemed to come at critical times, this either Cavalier. on offense or defense. They've talked a lot about this young Cavalier defense, but they are playing well. 
Rodney Williams, the freshman quarterback. Here's the reverse this he's time to Williams. It. He wants to throw, but he's being chased by Sean Scott. Gets it off. Oh, my goodness. To Rulock. I can't believe it. How could Rulock be that wide open? The play took 15 seconds, and Ray Williams did everything he had to do to get away from the Virginia defense and then unload it. We have to look at the replay, but the Virginia defensive back simply went to sleep. He lost track of him when Rulak started to look like he was going to run the football. He came back up after him, and I tell you, the play took 10 seconds to 15 seconds to get off, and he still threw it over his head. And boy, does Ray Williams have to feel good. Remember, he's the kid who made the clip that sent him back to third 20-something. Oh, my goodness. You could tell Rulak was going to throw the football as soon as he picked it up. Treadwell, who was perfect this year in conversions, comes on to add the point. And does. And the Clemson Tigers have jumped on top in the third quarter, 20 to 17. Ken Willard, that's two trick plays they've scored on. We'll try to make some sense out of this play, but you can see it coming. It's a reverse of the, what happened earlier. The pitch to Rulak. Now, he's going to throw the ball right from where it goes. Sean Scott's out on him and trying to catch up with him. Now, this play is going on and on, and the defensive man is back there. There's Ryan Jackson, who actually comes toward the line of scrimmage. Why he did it, I don't know. Timeout with 9.23 to go in the quarter. Clemson by three. Back after this from your local ACC station. This new at t 4G LTE is fast. Hey, two tickets just opened up on the 50. Yep, about to pick them up at will call. So 46 seconds ago. Did you guys hear that Chapman rolled his ankle? Done. Get out there. So 12 seconds ago. Do you guys know how to post videos to Facebook? Do you guys know how to post videos to Facebook? Did you guys hear someone stole well, the other team's mascot? So 27 seconds ago. Stay a step ahead with 4G LTE with speeds up to 10 times faster than 3G. at and we love ordering sushi, but it was getting expensive. So to save some money... Looks great, huh? And we're not real proud of this. No, we're not. We, um... Have you guys seen Captain Stewie and Little Miss Neptune? Did you look all over the place under your desk? All around? They're fish. They live in a bowl. What are you going to do? There's an easier way to save. Whatever. Get online. Go to Geico.com. Get a quote. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Saturday, two teams with a lot to prove look to light it up in Lexington. Touchdown! Who will break out for a big win? Mississippi State, Kentucky, next Saturday at 7 on Fox Sports South. Brought to you in part by Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. Under a minute to go, third quarter, first and goal, Cavaliers. Three tight ends in the ballgame, Morgan, and a flag is down. Morgan hit by Henry Walls. I don't even think he made the line of scrimmage. No, and I think this is where the, the maturing process of Kevin Morgan has to come in play. He's a fullback. He's got to get to that line of scrimmage. He's got to get his body upfield. Clemson was offside, however. That will make it first and goal from about a foot have to be in the neutral territory at that point. And Danny Ford, again, he has assumed that posture a lot today. Head down, just staring at the ground. Georgia tell him, take the penalty. Defense lining up in the neutral zone. We got a first down over repeat. It's the mental mistakes that will kill you. Everybody makes physical mistakes. So Virginia with a break, now first and goal. Now, this is Dan Ford's seventh year here at Clemson. If you really look, look at it, he's never had to sweat a losing season at all. Nope. He's really never known what it is to coach a losing season. And I'm sure he didn't want to find out. Morgan, touchdown. Now, that time, he did what you wanted him to do, Ken Willard, as a fullback. He set sail. Absolutely, and I think George would say the same thing. Get in that end zone, turn your body upfield. That, he can run. He's got a lot of speed. He's 223 to 225 pounds. He's going to be a great football player. He's got to get himself going and stop being tentative at the line of scrimmage. He's got to be a very happy young man. That's his first touchdown. And it puts Virginia on top, 23-20. Stadlin is on, trying to make it a four-point march. And does. 
40 seconds left in the third quarter. And the Cavaliers came back when they had to. Clemson claimed the momentum. Now, you don't think this is a big play, but there are all different kinds of ways you can get into the end zone. This is your flat swan dive. You've got to be able to really get up. But a lot of coaches will teach you when you jump to turn your body sideways so that you don't get a flat shot. It's also a 223-pound <laughs> swan. Right. 40 seconds left. Virginia by four. Back in a moment. Smokers are three times more likely to have a stroke. Poor diet and high cholesterol increase the risk. Lack of exercise and high blood pressure increase it even more. The best chance you have is knowing what to do. It's about time you knew Marcus Stroke and Neuroscience Center at Grady. Atlanta can't live without Grady. Years of dedication, sacrifice, desire. It's all come down to this one moment, game day, where only the strong survive and the warrior with the best barbecue sauce always wins. Shane's Rib Shack, where every day is game day. Game day specials now include 10 wings and fries for just $5. Ready to start the fourth quarter with Virginia leading Clemson by four. The Tigers have the ball deep in their own territory, second and seven. Rodney Williams, the freshman quarterback, has Flowers at tailback. Now they snap the ball as one of the Virginia players, uh, Kelly Clark, looked like he was going to jump offside, and Jeff Litton did a, something he did in the first half. As soon as he saw that man jump offside, he started to snap the ball to get the five-yard penalty. But Calk may have gotten back. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. And you know, that's a great play by an offensive center. We used to, our center at San Francisco, Forrest Blue, was one of the smarter guys at knowing all the nuances of the game. And you know, you've really got to be alert because that center has to make that decision. He's thinking the count. And all of a sudden, when he sees that move, he's got to also snap the ball quickly. That's the call. Defense, encroachment, second down repeat. Now remember, this, this center is really tense. He's listening. Now watch Jeff Litton. He gets the ball up there. And of course, Rodney Williams says, oh my goodness, I've got to run with it now. Yeah, Rodney Williams says, say what? <laughs> Trying to go outside with uh, Flowers, and they'll only get a couple. That's got to be a real shock to a quarterback. He's, he's going to go on hut, too, and <laughs> once thinking, he's got the football. He's thinking it also, and, and again, it is a surprise. Kenny Flowers picks up that first down. Clemson uh, has done a much better job on the ground. This is more what uh, Tiger fans are used to seeing. And Flowers with 12 carries and 69 yards. Stacy Driver, 19 for 87. Here's Williams to throw and throws near sideline and short. Trying to hit Ray Williams and pretty good coverage out there for Ryan Jackson. Good coverage. Probably would have had him had he thrown a good ball, but awfully tough throw uh, for a quarterback to consistently be rolling and trying to hit that receiver. Rodney Williams has done an admirable job throwing that football. Really done better than the statistics, Absolutely. I think, Ken. Uh, the stats show he's 5 out of 10 for 54 yards. Doesn't look like that much, but I think he's handled himself very well. Here's another score for you. This was the second period score. It's now in the fourth quarter. NC State and Pitt tied at 10. That's being played up in uh, Pittsburgh. This is Flowers on the option, and Hurdles, the last defender to get near the first down, threw himself at Chris Warren. The freshman cornerback made the tackle right at the sticks. They sucked that whole side of the Virginia defense in. And you know what I like about a good flanker? Terrence Rulock went out there, and he attempted to make a block for, this, for his halfback. Give me a receiver who's going to go downfield and try to block. I don't care if he does or not, if he just gets in their face. One thing about uh, Rulock and also Ray Williams, both of them are good blockers. They'll make an effort, and that's what you want out of a receiver. Most guys I know just go out there and hide with them. <laughs> First and ten. Williams on another roll. Guns this one. Over there. The He's gone. Williams, look out. They'll never catch him. Oh, look at this. What a play by Chris Warren, who ran him down, and Ray Williams. Ray Williams cannot believe it. Who can run was caught from behind. Ray Williams cannot believe it. Now, this is a rollout pattern. They're just throwing a basic little hook. 
but watch Ray Williams once he catches it right in the middle of the Virginia defenders. There's Ferguson coming up, does not react very well at all. Or that's Gould, rather. Now, Ray Williams has got blinding speed. He starts, but this tells you something about the young freshman, Chris Warren. He can run. That is the first catch of the day for Ray Williams, a 51-yarder, his longest reception of the season. First and 10, Clemson at the Virginia 12. Flowers. Got a chance. Oh, Touched great it. run. Holy cow, what a run by Kenny Flowers. We've got ourselves a ball game, Mike. Nobody wants to give in to this one. Super run by Kenny Flowers. A junior from Florida. Again, the fastest man on this team. Not only is he fast, he showed some moves. He carries the ball half the time that he's on the field. And here is Treadwell to try to make it a three-point lead. It's 26-24 Clemson with 13.45 to go. And Treadwell puts it through. So Clemson has regained the lead in a seesaw battle. And I think you've got to give most of the touchdown credit to the freshman quarterback, Rodney Williams, who threw a great pass to set this up. Just the pitch to Flowers. Now watch the cutout. A lot of missed tackles right there. There's Gould. There's Ryan Jackson. Penny Flowers does a great job of getting in. And we'll see it from ground level. They're coming right at you. That little cut in. Now watch the missed tackle right there. Again by Gould. Now Ryan Jackson. He misses it again. And if they run it back, I think he's going to miss it again. I do, too. <laughs> it's a great run. 13.45 to go. Back with more from Death Valley after this from your local ACC station. If you had a choice between going bald and a full head of hair, which would you choose? Advances in medical science have resulted in the world's first and only permanent solution to hair loss. Yes! You wash it, you cut it. It's your own real, naturally growing hair. When it comes to hair restoration, no one in the world has more experience than Bosley. The results look completely natural and are affordable on nearly any budget. But the entire process can't be explained in 60 brief seconds. So to find out more about this clinically proven and permanent solution to hair loss, call now to receive your free no obligation information kit. It'll answer all of your questions about hair loss and hair restoration. Plus, we'll also send you this $250 gift certificate just for calling. Every day you wait, you're losing more hair. So don't put it off any longer. You owe it to yourself to find out the facts. Choose hair. Choose Bosley. Call 1-800-597-6968. That's 1-800-597-6968. What an incredible seesaw battle. This Virginia Clemson thriller has already featured five lead changes. We pick up the action on the Cavaliers' next possession, with Virginia hoping for yet another lead change. Can they break the Death Valley curse? Let's see. Game has seesawed back and forth. This is Petty trying to get outside. He's got seven or eight, maybe nine yards as he gets up to the 29-yard uh, line. Brought down again by Walls, who has been all over the place today, along with A.J. Johnson. One factor that I think is really amazing about the Virginia offense, how many turnovers do they have in all of their ball games? They've only committed four coming into this game. And they have none today. That's right. Here's South Carolina over Duke, 14-7 at the half. Second and two, Cavaliers. Mikowski. Intercepted. Picked off by Danforth. Kenny Danforth back to the 21-yard line. That is the first interception this year by anyone in the Clemson secondary. Maybe there is something to that Death Valley curse. After the Magic Man threw that interception, the Cavalier defense stiffened and forced Clemson to punt. 
We'll pick up the action on Virginia's next possession. They have good field position midway through the fourth quarter. Let's see if Virginia could capitalize. Mikowski to Petty. Petty, nice hole up the middle. Near midfield, once again, it was Keith Williams, A.J. Johnson, helping him out. It's a good news, bad news situation. You can march that ball. I think it's amazing earlier I, I made the remark how few turnovers these people have. Four coming into this ball game. They have none today. As many times as they let their backs carry the football, and they've held on to the football. Now, again, the bad news is if you march up, you got so much of a chance to lose that football, and then so little time left. This is Vanderbeek into the ball game. Hard running down to the Clemson 42-yard line. That will be another Cavalier first down. Again, the free safety, A.J. Johnson, had to make the tackle. You think they've got some tools? Here they're running from, from really the fullback position. As I said earlier, he just does a good job of picking the hole, and he's a big kid, again, getting his first chance to play some football. 214 pounds. Everybody on the Virginia roster is a running back is over 200 pounds. Up there. And this is with Antonio Rice injured almost all year. First and 10, the clock ticking down, 6.39 to go. Petty, not this time, and Terrence Mack is in on the stop. We haven't called his name uh, very much at all today. He hasn't been a factor. He really has not been a factor. In fact, he has taken himself out of a lot of those option plays by coming up field too quickly. They need him in there. Playing with a broken hand and an Come ankle on, sprain, and the clock ticks down. Here we are criticizing him. He's playing with a yes. sprained ankle and a, and a broken hand. Say, I wouldn't want to broadcast if I had a broken hand no. and a sprained ankle. Just sit at home and watch you do it. <laughs> Nearing six minutes, and it's second and ten, Cavaliers. This is a big series. They've used up a lot of time. May have had a little movement. Mikowski on the option, and he is whirled down at the 40-yard line. And Mikowski a little slow to get up on this one. Well, Eldridge Milton made one of the big plays in this ball game, and he looked like a bullet knifing in there to come in and, and take Mikowski down, but did a great job. 11 tackles versus VPI earlier in the year. He's going to have a sprained ankle, and he's been out for two weeks, and he's biggest, back in there. This is the biggest play of the game on third and eight with five and a half minutes left. Mikowski under pressure. That would be the last time the Cavaliers would see the ball. Clemson followed that sack with a 12-play ball control drive to run out the clock. It was the Tigers' 25th straight win over Virginia, who remained winless at Death Valley. The teams went on to tie for third in the ACC, with Clemson getting the nod by virtue of this win. And by the way, Virginia did finally win in Death Valley in their 30th try, 22-3 in 1995. Thanks for watching this College Flash Classic. I'm Bob Rathbun. Man in. Tyler, touchdown! And that's exactly what they want to do, the pass. Touchdown! Oh. Powered up the middle. Intercepted again! The touchdown! Right there! Mueller looking right, throwing, complete, but not into the end zone! Danford on the corner, won the beat. Touchdown, Clemson! Warwick Dunn still on his feet. Warwick Dunn may score. He's got a lot of time. Ball throw, Jack Jackson. Touchdown, Warwick. Throw to Corey Holt, complete. Holt in a foot race with Crutchfield, and Holt is going to win it. The UFC returns to Honda Center Saturday, November 12th with an epic heavyweight title fight. Undefeated champion Cain Velasquez makes his first title defense against 13-1 top contender Junior DeSantos in a battle of the most talented and aggressive heavyweights to ever set foot inside the octagon. Plus former WEC champ Ben Henderson takes on the relentless Clay Guida. The UFC presents Velasquez versus DeSantos for the heavyweight title Saturday, November 12th. Tickets on sale now at the Honda Center box office and Ticketmaster.com. Most passing yards in the game right now. Uh, Houston. All right, who loses the ACC in sacks? Andre Branch. Uh, good. Uh, Isaiah Crowell's rush total right now. Uh, 608. What are you boys up to in here? A little football trivia, Sammy. No one knows the ACC, SEC, and Conference USA like the new college football show. Kick off your Saturdays at 11 on Sports South. What two rival coaches went halvesies on a vacation home? Uh, Will Muschamp, Jimbo Fisher. We're ready.
On November 1st, DirecTV will stop carrying these networks, which means you will lose college football, Hawks, Bobcats, and Grizzlies on Sports South, college football on FX, and much more. Get direct with DirecTV. To find other providers, go to KeepMyNets.com today or call 866-KEEPMYNETS. Picturesque beaches and an outstanding climate have helped...